Hey guys, you're Marta Geek. In this video, I have an unboxing and hands-on look of the laptop that's gonna be replacing my workhorse, which is the Dell XPS from 2017. This is the laptop that I've been using for video editing and everything that you see on YouTube has been done in the last three years with this laptop. So this time around, I just got the Alienware M15 R3. Yes, the Alienware M15 R3 that has a 10th generation Intel chip. So I'm gonna show you guys the, the unboxing. Of course, video game obviously is gonna be better than that laptop, but mostly I hope that this is actually way faster than my laptop when it comes to full video editing 4K and normal 1080p because that's the reason that I got it. So this is how it looks over here on the side. This is 15, says command center. Uh, killer Wi-Fi 6, Cryotech technology, Alien FX RGB, GFX amp. Over here in the back, nothing special. And over here you can see this says M15. So let's go ahead and take this out. Go. Okay, and here we are. Oh, lay. Okay, so let's go and lay this back and let's go and see what's in here first. Over here we got the power adapter, which is wow, it is huge. Okay, we got the cable here that goes to the wall. This portion goes to the laptop, and I believe this is the 240. Yeah, this is the 240 watts. So, damn, look at that. Pretty big. And nothing more. And now all we got is just the laptop. And look at this. Oh my. Man, this is honestly, wow. Oh my God, it feels way smaller than the one that I've been playing in. Because I've been going to Best Buy and test this laptop, but the one that Best Buy has on display, it's a 17 inch. So now that I'm seeing this, in person, I never seen this 15 inch in person. And like you see here in the back, in the bottom, it has this exhaust, it has vapor chamber. So I hope it's, you know, when it comes to heat wise, I hope it's better than that laptop. Um, sound, sound, sound here in this front. Over here in the side, you got a USB 3.0, you got headphone jack, you got the ethernet port right there. Over here in the back, it looks incredible. You got exhaust here in the back. You got this, I believe it's for the amp, an external amp for graphics. I believe that's what's for uh, USB-C, which is good for everything and including power as well. You can actually power this laptop with a USB-C uh, adapter as well. Display port, and it has the HDMI on the back, which is pretty damn cool. And of course you charge it right there this right here surrounding is an led light which is you can't see it because it's off here on the side two usb 3.0 and you actually have an micro sd would have been better honestly if there it was a full sd card i don't get it why a lot of companies are eliminating sd cards but at least this has a micro sd card and this is how it looks you got the alien wear logo there the laptop i thought it was gonna look like very very white but honestly it looks like uh kind of grayish but it is the white version so let's go and see if it turns on while i'm turning this open these okay look at this nice look at that awesome look at the keyboard beautiful looking Cool, let's go take this out. So it has this tape right here, all around this plastic. And yeah, nice. So I decided to actually get the third 300 Hertz. This is the 300 Hertz monitor, which is actually 1080p, but it's 300 Hertz and it's actually 100% sRGB. So that's one of the reasons I got it. And of course, I really don't care about the t uh, having 4K here because I'm actually gonna be connecting this to a monitor, which is actually gonna give me 4K. 
So right now, I guess there's no power because I am trying, I'm tapping the button here, the power button, and it's actually not turning on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be testing this laptop. I'm gonna game on it. I'm gonna edit videos on it. And then we're gonna go ahead and continue with the second half of the video. Well guys, so here we are back again a couple days later after doing the unboxing of the Alienware M15 R3. Now, of course, keep in mind, I this is a gaming laptop, right? And But the main reason that I purchased this laptop is to use it as a, my main device for video editing. So I in these couple days, I want to decide, am I going to keep it or not? Is it worth the money over the, you know, the time that I'm going to take editing videos and all that? Uh, yes, I love playing video games, but my main video game um, time I wasted on, on, on consoles, not on PC. Uh, but I did try video games here on this console or on this PC and wow, I gotta say I was blown away. I was blown away. I did play Forza Horizon 4 and in ultra settings like you see here on video on ultra settings, this laptop played that game flawlessly. No hiccups, no stutter, no frame rate drops whatsoever. It stayed at 75 frames per second all the time while playing this uh the game for over like an, an hour and never stuttered uh of course the fans will turn on you know that's why this this laptop actually has a lot of uh, a vapor chamber and it can you it, you can overclock this laptop as well so you will get a lot of power or a lot of juice from this laptop of course uh one thing that i noticed that i didn't like about the laptop is the battery life you know but that's something that we knew because almost every gaming laptop has bad battery life okay uh, so that was something that i was expecting and keep in mind i will be using this laptop connected to my um, 32 inch 4k monitor which is this one right here the bank q so you know, I when it comes to battery life, I really didn't care because, you know, it's going to be connected to a monitor anyways when I'm editing videos and all that. Uh, let's go ahead and open the laptop so you guys can see one thing that I really like. Um, this is actually turned off completely. Look at that. It turned on right now. Very cool. You got the, the nice rainbow looking uh, keyboard. You can't see it right now that good because of the lights. Uh, but there you go. Look at that. Very nice. It turned on really nice and fast. Of course, uh, this screen right here that you see is actually the 15.6 inch and it's the 300 hertz screen, 300 hertz screen uh, with three milliseconds, three milliseconds only. So video game on the screen is super freaking awesome. And of course, it is not 4K, but it, it is 100% sRGB. So um, watching videos, playing video games, editing videos on this machine is actually pretty good i use adobe premiere and i have no problems editing videos or doing my projects here on this pc because it actually looks pretty good but like i said this is going to be connected most of the times to my 4k monitor and yes this is 1080p screen but it can easily output 4k to my monitor and that's how like you see here on the video and that's how i'm going to be using my computer uh connecting most of the times when i'm at home editing video is going to be using the 4k screen because it's a lot easier for me you know i that's i prefer it that way i'm um, using the mouse i have no problem using the mouse but the touchpad here is actually pretty good as well i really like the way the touchpad actually feels you know it can recognize the gestures from windows and all that so i really have no problems whatsoever um also a very cool thing about this laptop it has this um, alienware command center this is where you're going to be actually controlling the configuration or the settings you know for this illumination right the illumination on the keyboards this is how i have it set up uh, let's see if we can actually see it a little bit there I have it blue, right? Light blue. I have the numbers in, like in pink, right? Numbers in pink. And I have the function keys in dark blue. 
So for me, it actually looks pretty cool like that, but you can still go per key and actually change a lot of the other buttons as well. Like you can actually make these buttons right here in a different color if you want as well. Here in the, um, right here right now, like see here in the logo, this is uh, green and it's because it's not connected to the power. If I connect it to the power, it changes to blue and that's why, that's because I actually configure it for it to be like that. Um, here in the back, same thing goes here in the back. I put it a little blue in the back right here, which looks awesome. And over here, I like the magenta looking um, Alienware logo there. It looks just really beautiful. Of course, this is the Lunar Light and I love the color, looks incredible. So yeah, right now I have no regrets when it comes to the quality or the looking of the laptop because I always, always wanted to have a freaking um, Alienware and I never could because they are expensive. The video card, of course, like I said before, is a NVIDIA GeForce RTX uh, 2070 with eight gigabytes of GDDR6. That's insane. So like I said, video gaming on this device it's going to be awesome. I play Forza Horizon 4 and I also play the um, Injustice God, Injustice 2 and my God, it just plays flawlessly and those games at ultra, at ultra um, and a dynamic, you know, dynamic range and all that and no problems, no hiccups whatsoever. That's amazing. Uh, another thing that I did, right, is test if I, how how is the speed when it comes to editing videos, right? So what I did was that I, I took a almost like 18 minute video, 4K video using Premiere on this laptop and on my XPS, the same video, same size, same length. Editing a 18 minutes and 39 second video in 4K, it actually took 39 minutes. 39 minutes, that's insane. Um, but compared to the Dell XPS, it actually took an hour and eight minutes. So look at that. That's a huge, huge, huge freaking difference. So right there alone, you know, tells me that 4K editing on this laptop is way better, way faster than 4K editing on my Dell XPS, which is three years old already. Then I went back again and did another video editing in 1080p, like I normally do, right, for my videos, in 1080p for around 10 minutes and 60 frames per second. And it took me seven, oh, seven minutes and 50 seconds, seven minutes and 50 seconds to actually render and finish that video. And over there, it actually took me 13 minutes and 32 seconds. The difference is, is not that huge compared if we compare the 4K editing on that laptop, the XPS. But, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to move a little bit forward towards 4K. And when it comes to 4K editing, this is going to be way, way better than uh, my Dell XPS. So, yeah, right now... I think most likely that I'm definitely gonna be keeping this laptop because I really like the speed that it is offering me. So Alienware at ultra settings. Now make sure that when you choose your RAM, you actually choose the RAM that you actually need because this is not upgradable. The RAM, once you choose 16 or 32, you cannot upgrade your RAM later on in the future yourself because it is soldered in, which kind of sucks. I can't believe they actually do that because on the XPS, I can actually upgrade the RAM whenever the hell I want and the SSD as well. SSD has one terabyte, which is awesome. That, I have no complaints there whatsoever. So far, I've been really enjoying the laptop and the only thing that I really don't like, of course, is the battery life. The battery life, if you see right here, right now I'm using, it's not connected to the power. It says that I have an hour and 44 minutes. You know, that sounds okay. But normally at 99%, it tells me that I have over two hours of battery life 
which is <laughs> kind of sucks compared to the Dell XPS because of the Dell XPS actually right now after three years is still giving me around four hours of battery life with at a full hundred percent so of course battery life is not going to be that great here but there's a lot of tweaks that you can do here that can actually improve your battery life uh, this is the alien command center like i said this is where you control the the colors for all the sections of the laptop and right here this is where you're going to be overclocking your laptop right here you can overclock your laptop you can select different profiles for overclocking in the gpu and the cpu uh, you can also control the thermals here the fan noise the, the the cooling system you can control all that set it up to quiet cool performance right now i have it on balance but i can go ahead and change it to performance to cool and all that so there's a lot of things you can actually adjust here if you want you know to make a little bit get a little bit more battery life this laptop right now with this configuration it actually goes for over two thousand dollars but i was lucky enough that i got it on sale i got it on sale for around sixteen hundred dollars so right now because of the price that i got it the configura configuration that i have and the performance that it's giving me you know while editing video I think I'm gonna actually keep this laptop. I really think I'm actually gonna keep this laptop. I always wanted an Alienware and now I finally got it. And I love the way it looks, of course. And of course, I'm gonna be editing this video on this laptop as well. And I, I purchased one of these micro SD cards for my camera. So now, now instead of using SSD card, I'm gonna use a, micro, a super fast micro SD card. That way I can just pop it in transfer my files and edit my videos just like that so guys thanks for watching this video let me know what you think about the alienware m15 r3 and if you have any questions please leave it in the comments thanks for watching till next time guys bye bye